Hey, 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 what is going on, friends? My name is Bleeker, and today we are going to be doing a brand new series, Factorio, as played by an engineer. Now, some of you might be thinking, what kind of engineer are you? That is a very good question. I am what you call a controls engineer, and what that does is a lot with automation. Um, making control systems, setting up large automation. I basically spec out systems for people, or people will call me with needs, and I will give them what they need. So, Factorio, phenomenal factory building game, which is what I'm all about, building efficient setups for people, or at least recommending stuff. Trust me, trust me, trust me, I am an engineer. Um, before we get started, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me when you hit that, and hit that little notification bell. Just ring that thing. You will get up to date on this series as I'm uploading it. Um, this is going to be season one. I don't have too much of a plan right now as to when I'm going to do the finale, but for the time being... We will get to that in time. First off, mods. I'm running Alien Science, Auto Trash, Auto Fill, Base Mod, Foreman, Initial Scan, Landfill, Larger Inventory, the Long Reach Mod, the Quintessential Factory Talk Mod, and Rail Tanker. I will be putting this list down in the description below, along with any other information and any other mods that I decide to add to the series. Um, I would like to give a special shout out to all my subscribers and welcome to all the new people. So let's start a new game. Um, that all looks fine, medium. I would like very good richness on all of this. Stone, very good. Coal, very good. Crude oil, very good. Enemy bases, I'm doing it without. I want nothing. Starting area, we'll do a big starting area. Um, map seed, okay. I don't know. I can't write, trust me, I'm an engineer. Oh, let's try 2711P. 2711. Map, map exchange string. I don't know. Generate. In this factory of free play, your, launch, your task is to launch a rocket into space. Do this by constructing a rocket silo. I don't care. Whoa. This is a pretty nice starting area. I got stone here already. Iron. Copper. Here's the problem, though. I don't see... Ah, uh, coal's up here. Actually, this looks like an even better starting area right up here. Alright, so yes, I suppose the final goal of the series will be to launch a rocket into space. But for right now, I think I'll end the season when we set up our factory. We're going to do a huge... We're going to do a huge large-scale factory. And um, we'll kind of go from there. So, the engineering part will really take place once we get going, but for the time being, I want to build that there. Now, what does that do for... Oh, right. I need to build a tool first. I like iron axes. Now, this will kind of be a tutorial for anybody who's curious as to how I would go about building stuff. This will be our getting started episode. Me just bumbling around trying to get rolling here, so... By doing um, this particular setup, we'll be shoving our burner, the stuff we get from our burner drill, right into our furnace, and I can just pick off iron bars right out of the machine. Before I forget too much, set timer for 14 minutes. Oh, thank you, Siri. And cooking. Well, we got that cooking. Let's go get some. Wow. Wow, that's stone dough. I have I have honestly been really excited to do this series for a while because my Factorio demos, oh, what do we got? We got oil up here, oil down here, water source, water source here. I'll probably actually set up a facility down there. But I've actually really wanted to do this series for a while. Yeah, I'm getting stoned. And I am very excited to actually be bringing it at long last. One more. Let's actually just pull the coal out. Very nice. Set up another set of burning burner drills. Burner drill. Out of rocket fuel. Yes, yes, yes. I kind of realized that. I should have made... I need five more, four more stone. But I've really been wanting to bring this series to a while. And I've been trying to figure out how am I going to do this. But I figure this... um. The tagline of with an engineer is kind of cool. 
as you'll get to see this like through the eyes of somebody who does this for a living. Actually, I've I know a little enough about Factorio to be dangerous, which is I'm gonna do this in a couple in like a uh, few seasons so that I can quick become an expert on the next half of it. Awkward silence. Perfect. Throw a little bit of that in there. Throw a little bit of that in there. What? Hot. There we go. So next thing I need to do is get. A little bit of wood here, just a little bit. Four raw uh, wood, very nice. How much am I gonna need for this? All right, keep going here. So I guess the end goal will eventually to be to launch a rocket into space. That's the only cool conclusion I can come up with for this. Let's take a little bit of iron, thank you. And then a box. Build, 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 Nye the science guy. Science rocks! Sweet. Did I have to do wood? No, I really didn't. But I'm lazy and I and I did wood. Once I get coal going here, I should have... Holy autosave. Come on. Is there anything in there? There's nothing in there. Okay. That sucks. Much more. I'm going to need more iron. Get a few more in there, please. There we go. Now we're cooking. Quite literally, now we're cooking. Take all my stone here. Do I have enough for... No, I do. So once we get coal building up, then we'll be in a really good spot. And they'll be able to kind of plan out the rest of the starting location. Excellent. All right, let's kind of take a look at our in, at our map here. We'll kind of let everything do its thing. How do I want to do this? Let me get through the bush here. Giggity. Factorio. Lumberjack edition. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm going to set up our power here. We'll bring it down here. I might end up power here. I think I'm going to go through the desert and build in here because typically there's less shrub shrubbery for me to worry about. And this is going to be a pretty big factory actually. Um, if I need more I can always bring power up here with this water source. We're going to do this with steam engines since I'm not overly I'm overly since I am not overly concerned about um, pissing off the local population as I, my commune and as a typical um, typical capitalist I come in, kick out the uh, indigenous and then pollute their planet and mine their resources dry. Okay, that auto save is kind of stupid right now. How much coal do we got? 22 coal. That is, that is just, that is just, a, that is great. Give you some coal, give you and you some coal. Keep on cooking, guys. Keep on cooking. And anything else that I immediately want to do here in our starting area? We, oh, yep, good. We got copper. Not as important as the iron that we're going to get here. Offshore pump. So I'm going to do a 14 to 10. So I believe that's the most efficient setup, but I have a slightly modified way that me and my friends do it. Whereas normally when you put boilers down, you see them just lined up. We've discovered that if you just do like two, 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 the water will stay heated and um, quicker and more efficient. It'll be a lot quicker. The wa It'll be much more efficient that way. Or so I've been told. I broke my tool. <laughs> my tool. Hey, this is my tool. Yes, I am a demented and completely over-the-top mind, but you'll learn to love me either way. How much more time we got left for that? Eight more minutes left in this episode. I could begin setting up... I want an offshore pump. Set up two steam engines here, and we're going to get this... We're going to get our power laid out, or beginning to get our power laid out. Hmm. So 
an awful lot of shrub I gotta get through here. An awful lot of bush. Change of plans. For the sake of all those eco-Nazis, we're not gonna trim down too much. Set up power right here. I would like an underground pipe, but I don't have the resources, unfortunately. So we'll do that. Very nice, very nice. So this coal right here is going to feed our hungry, hungry factory power source. And if I need more, I can always tap this one, this one, or this one. So this coal down here is going to be dedicated solely to powering this up at some point. Do I have enough for the underground pipe? I do. Pipe to ground, baby. And pipe to ground. Nice, nice, look at that. Look at that, that is looking good. We're already heating up water. Not necessarily the best thing, but I'll take what I can get. All right, now I need 20 iron. This is why I love the long reach mod. This, like I said, this is a quintessential part of, of um, Factorio. Every single person that I have ever played this game with, that is literally the first mod I tell them to install. We can worry about the rest later. And a little bit more here. There we go. 20 iron. Let's set up the first steam engine. And boom. Now this won't work first because we actually have to hook it up to an electrical grid, which means I'm going to need wood because I need to build electric poles. But we're not going to do that because I don't want to waste the coal. I don't want to waste the coal yet. Like I said, we're going to try and run this semi-efficiently. Which means I will be looking into alternative forms of power, like solar. Um, I haven't done very much research on it, but I know nuclear is or was an option. Alright, so I have enough to do another two. Or another one. Another boiler. That is that next to it? Yeah, that is. Water temperature is at 118, 100, that's because it doesn't have power. Now what I like about this design is you get your water hot, it goes through here, it will cool a little bit, but you have this right here to heat it right back up. We've noticed it'll cool like slightly subtly, but we think by uh, setting it up with like a 2, 1, 2, 1, or 2, just like as long as you have 14, 14 boilers to those 10 furnaces, everything should run a little bit better. How am I doing on coal? Excellent. That's looking good. Seven more pieces of coal. Let's pop some more on that bad boy because we're going to blow through iron. Iron is your early game resource. You will blow through iron more than anything else at this portion of the game. It's all about the iron. Oh, de irony. Hey! Bad joke alert. Spoilers, bad jokes. Now look at that. Available performance. Water is heated up. Yeah. Once we get this thing actually going, it's going to be pretty badass. I could actually do... That's going to take up... Th that's going to take up a lot of power. Hmm. We'll worry about that. We'll worry about electric mining drills later. For the time being, though, do I want to do inserters yet? No, but I would like to do a few more drills and burners. Drill or drill and drill and furnace. I I don't know why I can't English very well today. All right, perfect. Lots of iron coming in. Lots of coal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. We are making progress, slow but sure. I know this design will work, trust me. I'm an engineer. I know what I'm talking about. God, that's gonna be the tagline of this. Trust me, I'm an engineer. And, alright, so that's our starting area. 
Excellent, excellent. We are making, we're raking in the resources. Ooh. I will need to begin doing small, I will need to begin small scale automation at some point during our next episode. That'll be next episode's problem. This episode we're gonna be doing initial resource hogging and prepping for just a huge influx of power and coal. I got a very little available performance right now, but that's okay. What happens if I do that? That heats up the water. Performance. Hmm. Maybe it is three just to get the water heated up. I'll research into this one a little bit more because I thought this would work. Oh, so it's three we can get away with right at the top, at the bat. That's it. We can get away with three, and then we can just maintain the heat all the way through. So we might actually be able to do a pretty, a fairly efficient setup with just, yeah, this lo this is looking good. We might actually be able to do a fairly efficient way with um, one less engine, or one less boiler than I'm thinking we're going to need, which is, hey, resources saved or resources earned. What I've noticed a lot out in industry is money and costs drive everything and I mean everything from the toys that from the computers you're watching this right on to the food you eat cost drives everything and of course as with everything when you throw money into it it gets just more complicated but that's a YouTube rant not even a YouTube rant that's just a rant for another day one two three four I want to build ten of those I'm gonna need one two Need a lot more iron. Come on, guys. Get building here. There we go. Another one. 33 coal. Let's divvy this out accordingly, because right now... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Just give that enough to survive. Come on. Jeez, and won't let me split it now. What am I doing wrong? Do 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 do. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. As my iPhone has just told me, it is time to stop the episode. But don't you fear not, guys. We will be back very soon with episode number two of Factorio as done by an engineer. In the next episode, we are going to begin automating our starting area. We're going to automate it all up. We're going to beginning. We're going to hopefully begin production and finish up our power area. But until next time, guys, this has been your resident engineer, Bleeker, and we will be back next time. Trust me. <laughs>